three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Welcome back to uh, TTM Trades. Today we're going to be doing our daily review. Um, so many great plays today. You got a uh, ticker AKER breaking out of its continuation pattern and head back up to high 3637. You got OHRP uh, breaking out of its bottom and looking like it's one to begin. It's, it's starting to head back up. But the star of today is one of my first loves. We're going to be talking about ticker MYO. Uh, I originally got back in this one at 305, rolled it up and sold it at 412. And I've been waiting for quite some time for this one to um, consolidate and give a clear signal when it was going to break out and continue its upward trend. Um, but before we get started, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have not checked out my last video, please do. It's my top three for the week plus one. Uh, two out of the four are already taken off. So please go check that video out. All right, let's get right into a ticket MYO. Uh, so you can see here, <clears throat> it bottomed out, came up. This is where I got in in this area at 305, rolled it up to 412, got out. It topped out at 446, and it's been in this sideways movement. Uh, it looked like it wanted to touch 312. I actually called the 312, it tapped down to 311. A lot of accumulation to push this back up, and now we finally had. The breakout on decent volume uh, so a lot of bullish signals here uh, one thing I want people to pay attention to uh, this is a quite known pattern this is a double bottom pattern which is a very bullish reversal pattern as you can see here a double bottom pattern forms a W as you can see it came down spiked up came back down and now it's breaking out of this consolidation and it's going to trend back up so if you look right here, same type of pattern, down, spike up, came back down, little consolidation in this area and continued his leg back up. Uh, the biggest thing is breaking that middle of the W and the middle of this W is right at 1140. So am I saying we're going to break 1140? I'm not saying that, uh, but I am saying is we're, we're about to start trending back up and heading towards uh, our certain price targets. So. As far as the Bollinger Bands, uh, they were constricting to signal a breakout coming. Uh, finally had a nice breakout over the psychological resistance areas. Well, it didn't break through those resistance areas just yet. Uh, $4 is its immediate resistance. As you can see, it pushed up today to a high of uh, 405 and closed right under the $4. Okay. Um, now what to expect moving into tomorrow uh we're going to get rid of the bollinger bands and we're going to switch over to moving averages so looking at this would be a lot simpler so what we have here is a let's look at some psychological areas of resistance uh to get an idea of what we're dealing with uh so just on the moving average chart uh something everyone should be uh wary of important moving averages for swing traders is 10 30 and 50. All right, so uh, we broke above that 10, came up, was consolidating between the 30-period moving average and the 50-period moving average. Actually came out of the channel but came back up on high volume. So a few resistance areas to look at. Uh, traditionally right in this area of the 440 range. As you can see here, here, and here. Each and every time... Uh, there's always been some type of rejection came up here couldn't close above it actually gapped up came back down could not hold above it tried to come back and then finally just gave out trended back up again resistance pushed it back down so now that we have our, had our consolidation uh the biggest bullish signal you will see is a push above this 446 to 450 area which i honestly believe that's what we're about to do all right uh, before we move forward, though, we need to always be wary of what's going to happen on the intraday. All right. But 446, uh, break above 446 would be very bullish. All right. So now look at intraday. Uh, now for swing traders, the 200 period moving average is a psychological V. 
very important area of resistance. Anytime a uh, stock breaks above the 200 period moving average, that is a very bullish signal. And if it holds above the two period, 200 period moving average, then normally that stock will pop up on the on other trader scanners because a lot of swing traders like to trade stocks that are above that 200 period moving average. Um, me myself, I'm a little more riskier. So anytime a stock breaks above its 10 and 20 period moving average and holds, I trade those. Okay, for those quick intraday swings. But a lot of majority traders will trade stocks above the 200 period moving average. So what you can see here intraday, this brown line is the 200 period moving average and it's currently at three dollars and 88 cents so as you can see traditionally the 200 period moving average uh has not held when it came to ticket mio it broke above it it could not hold you got all these uh tops right here that didn't hold and then it finally broke back below it found support on that 50 period moving average came back to retest the 200 rejected 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 couldn't even come close rejected once this got rejected so many times, buyers uh, probably sold their positions and got out. And that's what caused this drop right here. Uh, but when it dropped, there was a lot of interest within this price range. Uh, traders accumulated the shares in those price range. And then it trended up very fast on volume and broke above the two period moving average. 200 period moving average. I don't know why I keep saying two. So what we should see here is not going to hold above this 200 period moving average. Again, like we said on the daily, it's going to drop back down between this uh, 50 period moving average and the 200 period moving average. It's going to consolidate again between 367 and 388. It's going to consolidate in this price range over the next day or two. And just like we said on the daily, it will have a nice bounce and break out. What it's forming right now, if you look at it, is an ascending triangle pattern all right once it breaks out of that ascending triangle pattern which is a very bullish signal then we will continue to head up into this 446 range and start retracing ourselves uh back to our original price targets and i'm gonna show you what price targets to look at and we're gonna look at those by going back to the weekly um but if you're on the sidelines and you're waiting to get in anywhere from let's just say from 370 uh to that 388 range is a good buy-in it's not going to take off just yet it needs to pull back and consolidate now looking at the weekly let's start looking back at our price targets uh, let's go back to my bollinger band strategy all right so looking back at the weekly all right different bollinger bands where we should test the price action all right as we can see that first line of resistance is this 20 period moving average right at four dollars and thirty cents which we know 430 446 is a major resistance from looking at the intraday and the daily so we're looking at 430 uh 558 687 and 815 all right four different price target areas all major areas to break out of okay um, and then we should start heading back up into this $11 range now as you can see on the weekly there's plenty of room for this to run on the RSI all right but with any chart on the daily looking your RSI is already above 50 and it's going to hit that oversold area here pretty soon so what you may see is a breakout above this 446 head back up into this area of immediate resistance back into this uh 650 to seven dollar range once it comes back up into this area of resistance uh you'll have a slight pullback for some consolidation for the price action to smooth out uh pretty much when the stock consolidates those are people taking profits and people who've been sitting on the sidelines waiting to take a position coming in. So as people are selling their shares and taking profits, you have new buyers coming in, taking their new positions on that pullback to make their new entry. And then what they're doing is they're forming a new support by them taking entries and forming a new support. And then the trend will continue. So what we need to do is, for one, if you get in in that price range I told you, uh, you could route this up to that six seven dollar range where this area of resistance is at which is anywhere from 80 to 100 percent return profit 
take profit, wait on the pullback, uh, which we'll be able to identify the pullback area once we get up there. Wait on that pullback, re-enter, and then I will ride this back up to this $11, $12 range for a new high. Because like I showed you in that double bottom pattern, uh, the trend to be very bullish must break back below the mid W area. So this is our mid W area that we want to retest. And we should start heading back up to try to retest this area of $11.40 to $12. Keep in mind, uh, Ticket MYO is a very low float stock. So for this to move from 380 area up to this $6, $7, and $12 range, it can happen very fast because there aren't a lot of shares available to the public to buy. So once this thing gets moving and it accumulates interest and people start trying to pile on to buy shares, uh, it's going to push the stock up pretty fast. So now's a good time to take your entry. Uh, TTM trades. Uh, I do not have an entry in this one. I'm currently in ticket BTCS at 12 cents. I'm going to try to get a nice profit out of ticket BTCS. And then I'm either going to hop on the MYO wave or the AKER wave because they're both uh, taking off. And I, if I so happen to miss the both of them, then I will default and jump back not jump back but get in ticket OHRP which is beginning to bottom out and trend upwards but uh, if you took anything of value from this please subscribe to the YouTube channel um, I appreciate every single one of my followers we're trying to get a thousand subscribers um, and hopefully you learned something today that's what's most important but TTM trades that's all for my daily review till next time Listen, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.